Hi folks, how's it going? Hope you're all well. It's very bright here, so I'm squinting slightly. Uh, but today, we're going to have a wee look at uh, creating melodies. Some people find this very easy, some people hear them naturally in their head, some people find it very, very tricky. Um, I'm going to try and break down what a melody actually is, and how you can create a melody uh, using a couple of these simple rules. So straight in, the, the, the first thing to think of is that a melody uh, will consist of a mixture of three things. And by using these three things, you are taking the listener on a kind of musical journey as you combine these three things to make your melody. So in a musical term, this is called a melodic contour. Now the three things that make up a melody are steps, leaps and repeats in various forms, okay? So I'm just going to explain a wee bit now what that means. So a step, I've got a keyboard here, so that to visualise it, a keyboard's a great thing to show you. So a step, in melodic terms, is when the notes uh, all they're all neighbours, they all play beside each other. So an example of a melody with a step would be... Okay? So the notes are all very close together uh, in a step in a stepward motion, okay, they step together. Now, you, then you have leaps, which uh, would be more like, so the, the, the notes are a wee bit l further apart in interval. Okay, so there's a, there's a leap there. Um, and then repeats, which is obviously just. Okay, so you're repeating the same note, that's fairly obvious. So a good melody will consist of a mixture of the three of those, okay? Now as well as remembering that, you also have pitch, okay? So pitch means that the notes could go higher, they could go lower, okay? So the rise and the fall, um, and that's also very important. And it's just as important to remember also to maybe sometimes leave some space in between your notes. So if you've got the... You get the idea, okay? I mean, that, that was pretty poorly played, but you get the idea. Um, so, and it really is that easy, okay? That's, that's you're just putting your fingers on, on the keyboard or, or in your, or even if you don't have a musical instrument at hand, you just, in your head, try out various things, putting notes together, steps, leaps, repeats, try various combinations of them, and, and you're kind of halfway there. It's, it really is that kind of simple. Um, a good way, another good wee technique we can use actually is a thing called a melisma. So that sounds a bit of a strange word, but what that essentially means is that you play groups of notes, uh, quite often steps, together over one syllable. So an example of that would be in Bohemian Rhapsody when they are singing the line about Beelzebub has a devil put aside for me, me, for me, for so that's a melisma. So when you're s singing different notes over the one, it's not even a word, it's a syllable, okay? So that's a good example of that. And, th and that's used loads in, in songwriting um, for various reasons. I mean, it could be a good technique used to reinforce or to, to highlight a certain word or a part in the song that you want people, that, you know, it's quite often used as a hook, a melodic hook. So quite a good thing to use. Uh, and just kind of try and keep that in the back of your head as well when you're creating these melodies. Quite good at the end of lines maybe, or at the beginning of lines, or if, like I say, if you're reinforcing a certain lyric uh, and you want that to really stand out, sometimes using a wee melisma in there can work pretty good. So, let's have a wee shot at putting some of this together. What I'd like to try and do now, I've prepared a couple of lines. So say you've got some lines and you've got no melody, you don't know where to go. Uh, I've written two lines here, it's, I wish sometimes that it was easy, everything just seems so hard, okay, so that kind of rings true for writing a melody. So we're going to use that, and what I would do before I came up with a melody, or even chords or anything, providing that all I have here is a set of lyrics, I would try and make sure that rhythmically they all fit nice and together. So what I mean by that is I'm just going to clap out a rhythm, and I'm going to try and speak those words over that rhythm. So. Uh, here we go. 
I wish sometimes that it was easy. Everything just seems so hard. So that works, okay, that nice and rhythmic and it fits in with the kind of pulse and the beats. But what if I wanted to maybe make it a wee bit longer? So maybe if I leave the space and clap it out over double the length, I wish sometimes that it was easy. Everything just seems so hard. Okay, so there's two options. And now the options are as infinite as your imagination or willingness to experiment will allow. So try out as many different ways as you as you want or you can until you find one that essentially you like the sound of. That's all it is. Writing songs in bass form is a series of choices. That's it. So you've you know experiment with different ideas and different choices and then the one that you like is that's the one you go with that's the one you choose that's your choice okay so that's all we're doing here um so i like the second one so we're clapping sometimes that it was easy everything just seems so hard i like that there's a bit of space in between so that gives me an option to elongate some of the words if I wanted to put a, a melisma over the word wish I wish sometimes or something like that okay um, and I can leave space I can uh, create this melody with a wee bit more space and that maybe just gives my head a wee bit extra time to sort of try and fit the notes in so where do you go from there you've got your rhythm uh, and now all that is left is to make the melody so uh, again, you can do this using a keyboard, a guitar, you don't have to do it with an instrument at all. The simplest way to do it is to start with your first note and then to try a step up, try a step down, try a leap up, try a leap down, um, try the melisma, try leaving the space, try elongating certain syllables or certain words, try and play them, try and sing them short. Again, it's literally a series of choices. Now, what I could do is uh, show you what I would maybe do for that for that um, set of lines. But what I also don't want to do is influence what you would choose yourself. So I think it's best that I don't give you an example and that I just say to you, go and write a set of lyrics and try just exactly what I've spoken about. So thinking about you're literally putting one note in front of the other. Get your get your opening note, and then where to go next? You just try going up in a stepward motion, or try and repeat the same note, or try and leap up or leap down. Um, you know, or maybe try it with a even if you get a line and try and think in terms of the contour we were talking about. So how would a contour look? Would it be nice? Almost like in the shape of a graph, you know, so is it going up and down or is it staying the same? Maybe some of the words uh, in your lyrics you want to emphasise, so that's where you would maybe put the leap, just to sort of really draw that word out and make the listener uh, tune in more to what you're saying at that certain point in the lyric. Um, so there's all sorts of options, but what I would like you to do is knowing now that a melody steps up or down, leaps up or down or repeats I want you to come up with a set of lyrics or maybe use the set of lyrics that you already have and just try it it's called the one note theory and you literally just put one note in front of the other and you'll know yourself when it sounds good or when it sounds bad so when you try a step mm, not great try a leap oh that's nice does it sound better down I'll try it down no it's not as good I'll go back up to the top. So it's just wee things like that. You're really just experimenting uh, and trusting your ears. That's all you're doing. Okay, so give it a go. <laughs>